welcome back to another video of the main road to travel um we just got back from the new shriner am i saying that right mm -hmm. new shriner delaware toy show um unfortunately we didn't take any video of inside uh that's jensen that uh, you hear in the background he was very excited about the toy show he got a couple of things yes. you, you want to show everybody what you got well, bring it over here. Come here. Go get it. Go get it. Amber asked Jensen what did he want to look for at the toy show. And he said animals. Okay, but what animal you want to find? A hippo. Hold on. Okay. Come here. Bring, show it. Come here. Lo and behold, Yay. Jensen, be, before this, this toy show, we went to uh, the Annapolis toy Yay. show. We asked him, what do you want to find? He said, animals. What kind of what kind of animals? Dinosaurs. Okay. What kind of dinosaur? T-Rex. He finds a T-Rex. Which doesn't seem too off because Jurassic Park. True. I was going to say dinosaurs are easier to find at these toy shows, but a hippo. Jesse, would you like to show everybody your hippo? Yeah. Come here. Well, come here then. Come here. We're, mommy's phone's right here, so we gotta show everybody on mommy's phone. Come here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He found a hippo. Yeah. He bobbles. He wants chips. Yeah. So, um, the company, it was a 3D printing company called. Uh, damn it, Daryl Design. <laughs> so I just want to uh, give them a shout out because um, they, once they seen that it was for Jensen, they were they took oh, some, oh, some money oh, off for that. So oh, 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 the other thing he found. Do you want to show them the other thing that they that you found? Yeah. That you wanted. Come here. Step on mommy's lap. Mm. Show everybody. Show it. Show it. Go like this. So it's closer to the camera. Here. Uh, I'm happy that he found a Ninja Turtle figure. However, he's he doesn't know any really about anything about Ninja Turtles yet. He doesn't even know that's a Ninja Turtle figure. He just saw he thinks it's an alligator. Little does he know it's a Leatherhead. So I believe that's uh, the Disney version. I mean, I was trying to have Disney Nickelodeon. It's either Nickelodeon or Disney, you know. Well, Disney doesn't have Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. It, it's Nickelodeon. That's right. So. Not uh, working. Yeah. Not working. It's not working. Oh. Um, okay. Um. Hey, right, ready to go play? No. 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 You gonna sit okay. here? You wanna see what else Daddy got? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Since I only found two things before we went to the, the toy show, I figured I'd just throw it in there. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a combined uh, video. Uh, t flea market finds for today. On the way to the uh, the toy show, I stopped at a flea market and oh picked up a... Dude, that's not how it goes. Yeah, it, it that's doesn't work that way. <laughs> Found a Jurassic Park pterodactyl or... Pterodactyl! Yeah, I, or then again, I, there's so many different species of pterodactyls now. I really don't know the proper name for this one. Yes, but... Yes. Uh, this is... Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I can't go. That's a pterodactyl. Good job. Interesting. It doesn't have a date on it. But it has the, uh, the JP right there. Just like Jensen. Jensen's JP. That's why you look dinosaurs so much. No, 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 no. That's daddy's. Alright, you're going to build? Yes, he's trying to show the camera, buddy. Oh. You push the button, and then the wings pop out. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, I yeah. wish I knew the... 
And then the wings flap. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I can't find a date on it. I'm sure I'll find a date when I look it up later on to find out exactly what it is and find out uh, a price for it. So this is one uh, many of items that will be, you know, available. Now my question is, have they always had the JP on for Jurassic Park like that? Yeah. Specifically, like even the originals? Yes, the even the originals, it was always on the leg. Uh, the newer ones, well, actually, I'm pretty sure this is the original. Switch. No, 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 no. This oh. is where it clips in. Oh, oh, oh. So it clips okay. in there. And then you push this button right here and pop out and okay. then flap. Gotcha. Uh, the newer ones, they do have uh, the Jurassic Park symbol, the dinosaur, on the foot. But they also have the JP on the side as well. Um, I want to say it feels vintage. But I could be wrong. I don't want to say it's, you know, a vintage... Jurassic Park uh, dinosaur they come to find out later on it's not a vintage and somebody you know gets all upset and calls me out so and then for the second thing I found at the flea market was this plush ET um, just hold this yeah, it's, it's heavy. heavy. So I it's bottom heavy. Yeah, I thought maybe it might have like one of those buttons you push, and then it does uh, it makes sounds or moves, but no, it's just it's probably oh. the, the way the top is. Yeah, mm -hmm. he uh he doesn't stay very well. Yeah, you gotta reposition him and nope. hope he doesn't <laughs> fall over. But anyway, he's uh, tired. It was a long journey home. Yes. There's uh, like a little couple scratches. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but it's not anything too bad uh, on the one eye. The other eye is pretty good. There's no rips. It's not even dirty, really clean, which I was really surprised, you know, especially when you find stuff, plushes at a flea market. Uh, try to find a date on it. Unfortunately, there's no date on the tag. So I want to, again, look this up and see what I can find. I'm surprised uh, you didn't do that before you got it. Well, we were already in the car heading to the toy show and then coming back. And uh, I wasn't even thinking about it, but it was in the trunk, so. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, this is going to be another thing that's going to be available. Uh, if you're also following us on... Um, our Facebook page, I have been posting pictures of different things that we have been getting in. All right, so now getting on to what we found at the Delaware Toy Show. So, picked up a, a fashion victim of, uh, this is... is this this is oh, Sadie okay this is on the back all the different ones this line was very short-lived um they did once one series of this kind of living dead doll then they did uh, like an 18 inch, and I believe they only did made three, maybe four. Um, the one I have, I had Sybil, and then her second uh, outfit was the Clockwork Orange look, or the Clockwork Orange outfit. I really like, enjoyed the movie. Um, it's bizarre, very interesting, but uh, all together. I, I feel like I'm going to get backlash for saying I like the movie now because just how people view things nowadays. But, I mean, it, I think so. the, it is what it is. It was a movie meant for entertainment, so. Cool. But, um, yeah, the, these don't pop up too often. Um, I'm actually on the fence on this one if I want to keep it or if 
it's going to be uh, up for grabs. The box isn't really, I mean, it's in okay shape, but um, it's seen it's seen better days. I mean, got like an issue right there. Yeah, there you go. Corner. It's like right here too, and then yeah, the the bottom. Yeah. Right here. And then the uh, the plastic is pushed in. But other than that, the the doll itself's never been taken out of the box. It's still sealed. Like it says, I'm on the fence. I might keep that one. Then again, might not because I never had that style of fashion victim. I've had the the big like I said the bigger one of um Sybil. This is the last one, dude. I mean, really, it wouldn't be the main road to travel without, you know, Jensen, so. He's just normally sleeping when we do these. Um, then I picked up ECW Sabu, still in the package. Uh, there's a little bit of a, there's a pinhole up here. And then there's some creasing in the card, but the bubble, other than that, the bubble is good shape. Is uh, a pinhole from like somebody using like a... This. Okay, so there's a something. little bit of crack right here in the bubble, I just noticed. Um, no, so what it was, somebody put like one of those plastic hooks uh, through so they could just hang it instead of using uh, the J hook. Why they did that way, I don't know. Um, I mean, from the front, it's not really that noticeable, but if you look on the back, you can yeah. definitely see right there. I was just thinking it's like somebody used a push pin to hang it up. No, uh, no, like the Walking Dead figures. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys been on the um, the Facebook page, I, I posted um, a collection of Walking Dead uh, figures I got. Uh, all still in the package, but the, the packages are all damaged. For whatever reason, the the person felt the need to. I don't know why, but they took um, probably push pins or something. And instead of using the J hook, they just pushed it right through the card. And they're all like close to the J hook. And they just, I, I don't know, I don't understand, but yeah. Sabu, uh, he will be available. Um, although I think I might already have a buyer for that one. Then. Another Crip Kitty. Yeah, don't don't look, bud. Don't look. No, no, it's scary. <laughs> he's, he's looking. All right, now since Jens is not looking, okay. All right, all right. I don't think he's gonna be scared of that. It's not like it's got blood or anything sticking out of it. But. Anyway, uh, was it last year we went to, yeah, we went to ZoloCon last year. Mm -hmm. We went to the, uh, the fall, was yeah, it the fall, fall show? Yeah, fall show. I picked up three and then got this one today. So I have all together now four different ones. Um, so all four are available. I uh, just got to get a price on this guy and so on so if you see anything that you're interested in and you know i say if it's you know available you want to message us um we'll let you know the price and then also uh if you're going to be at the maryland toy expo that's the next time we're going to be setting up in june more likely if this stuff doesn't sell now i'll be there so you get to see it in person 
or if you want to see, you know, detailed pictures or whatever, just let us know. We'll send you pictures, and so on. And then the next one after Maryland Toy Expo is the uh, Joppa Con. Yes, we will be set up at Joppa Con, which is at Joppa Town Flea Market. Um, also pick this up, the Carbonite for the Power of the Force uh, Han Solo. However, there is a, some issue down here. Uh, let's see, let's see the, yeah, right here, like a chew mark. And then that looked like it was melted, kind of. But in, then a little bit at the top right there, which you can see. But for any vintage showers, uh, figure collector, you know the rarity of this accessory, yet alone any of the Power Force accessories, along with all the other stuff. Especially finding original stuff that hasn't been 3D printed or resin made or whatever else um, people are using these days. So, um, I do, I believe I do have the figure for this, so I will be selling it with the figure. Uh, if you are looking for a Power Force Pantone Carbonite, and then, yeah, I got a few more. So I'm pretty sure this is for me. I got a just double check, but this is the uh, Ralph McQuarrie San Diego. Is San Diego, yeah, San Diego Comic Con exclusive of Yoda and Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, for anybody who is familiar with Ralph McQuarrie, he came up with like concept artwork of what the Star Wars characters, well, the way he thought the Star Wars characters should look, and some of them are pretty impressive. Um, like I really like the Snow Trooper really cool it's um and then like the cover part you take that off and it's like robotic looking uh the the all white boba fett that was ralph mcquarrie uh the yeah on the back as you can see there's uh the boba fett with the flamethrower um the stormtrooper with the lightsaber and the shield and then the r2 and the c3po so, yesterday, Amber and I set up at a uh, vendor show. Yes, yeah, I, I feel the need to. Uh, so, Amber was selling 31 bags, and then if you've seen the post, you saw, you know, what we had. But uh, I was selling Star Wars figures and some other random uh, action figures, and a kid came over and wanted uh, a Star Wars figure, and then he i forgot which one he picked up but then he saw the the rock mcquarrie chase stormtrooper and he wanted that one so his mom got it for him and then probably about i don't know 15 20 minutes later i went to go throw something away i just happened to glance into the trash can and i just stopped and i was in such disbelief i saw the packaging to the uh the stormtrooper and I was almost in tears. Knowing that the kid didn't realize that it was a chase figure, nor did he probably even care that it was a chase figure, that it was one per case. Um, I, with me being a collector, I was just, I, I was like, why? why? Why would he open it? But then again, like I said, it's a kid, not knowing. Uh, he just wanted to play with the Stormtrooper. And you probably thought it was really cool that I had a lightsaber and a shield. I did too, but mine's still in the package. <laughs> Just like how these guys are going to remain in the package. Um, yeah. I got another set. I think that I'm, I'm hoping that's the R2 in the C3PO down, that, down in the basement. If not, then... Yeah, one of them are going to be for sale if I have that set already. But, uh, 
as of right now, that's mine. <laughs> and then also from the same guy, I got uh, my Max playset. Now he told me that this is missing. He opened it up, he showed me the majority of it and he said that it should be missing just the, the cannon and the Money Max himself. But for the most part, everything else is in here. Um, I just like the Money Max play sets. I just thought this was a cool one. Uh, So the missiles are there. One guy's inside. Is he okay? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And then the back opens up. Like so, and then that piece. look into it. I'm not really sure if there was anything supposed to go there. But, um, the missile. Yeah, the missile for that. Then there's uh, that guy. And then this guy. So, yeah, I just gotta find the, the Mighty Max, which I'm sure I'll be able to eventually. But yeah, this one, this one was really cool. I liked it. Wanted it for myself, so yeah, this one's for me. And then picked up. The newer snake face, this is a, the retro play. So it's supposed to be like uh, the vintage. It looks just like the original, the only downfall. Um, but this one I was hoping it was gonna have the original action where you push down on the, there's a little lever on the back and the two pieces in the front pop down and then the snakes come out of the eyes and the mouth. But I mean, it's still, still a cool figure. Um, for those of you who know me, I've been army building snake face. Why? I don't know. I got about 30 of the pops still going. Still pick them up when I see them. Uh, I want to say this is probably my seventh one of this one uh just can't bring myself to open it up yet uh so hopefully no. one day i can do it but for now they're all just going to be in the package and then... so i saw this box on the table i wasn't really sure what it was and i looked inside i was like these figures look really odd and then i realized they're bootleg figures so these are mexican cool. yeah mexican horror bootleg figures got um billy it's gonna call him jigsaw it's like i know it's not jigsaw but it's billy uh they this one doesn't move it's like feels like a pvc almost so i was when i got him i was like okay i'll keep one maybe two and then i'll sell the rest and it's just like i don't know these are so cool um and some of them have have accessories like chucky and then interchangeable head 
Chucky, the bloody face, and then clean face. Which I never seen uh, a bootleg figure with uh, interchangeable parts. Okay, some of them do move their arms. Okay, so Chucky's stabbing arm, I guess, does move. And then... Uh, Jason. Which I'm surprised he didn't have uh, his machete. So, got Freddy Krueger, and he actually comes with, here's Freddy, and he actually does have his hat, but the hat doesn't really stay on that well, but yeah, there it is. And then, this was the figure I saw at first that kind of threw me off, and I was thinking, you know, I, th for some reason, I was thinking Ash from uh, Evil Dead. But then I was like, why does he have a meat cleaver? And then while I was looking around in the box, I saw that there was a chainsaw. I realized this is supposed to be Leatherface. But... Like the newer version of Leatherface, or one of the many newer versions of Leatherface, and then I really like this one out of all of them. I thought it was pretty cool, but uh, don't know where this is supposed to go exactly. But Pennywise, and he comes with a balloon. I know it's supposed to be red, but you know, with these bootlegs, you just do them all different colors. But I'd probably say, like, out of all of them, I, I think I like Pennywise the most. But like I said, I would guess this is how it would go in his fist, but there's not even a hole for him to hold it. So, I don't know. But, yeah. So that was, uh, you know, the finds for um, the Delaware Toy Show. Not a whole lot, but still, it's, you know, always cool to find than, something. I think it's more than you've had in a while. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say the last time we went, I think I only got like a handful of things and this what time does it mean at any toy show in random i don't think you even got this much at Zolocon. no it, actually i feel like i probably got more at Zolocon, but yeah. or maybe the same amount yeah okay but sure. um i don't know i think of everything i got i really like these bootlegs um i don't know it's just they're so unique and so cool and this is the kind of stuff, yeah, you know, I'm just looking for in general, like, especially with Star Wars. It's like, when you have everything, where do you go from there? So then it's like you're looking for the obscure stuff that you can't necessarily get in the U.S. or whatever. But, um, I don't know. It's like, at first I was thinking, okay, these are going to go to the show. But now I'm looking at them like, I think I can find room in the display case for these. So, um, yeah. Yeah, there is. Unless somebody throws me a, a decent offer, then we'll, you know, go from there. But, uh, yeah, so that's everything that we, uh, we found today. Uh, next Saturday, May 4th, is actually, um, free comic book day. So I'm sure you guys all see us around, probably Collector's Corner. Um, it's also the oh no i'm sorry not, yeah some um 
comic free comic book days next Saturday, May 4th. And then the Baltimore Vintage Expo is May 19th. So I don't know if they'll have any like vintage toys. Okay. So that might be something that we can check out. I figured it out. The chainsaw actually goes to Jason. <laughs> um, yeah. And then June 8th is the Maryland Toy Expo, which we will be set up at. Um, June 16th, which is Father's Day. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the show's name because I feel like I'm going to mess that all up. But it's in New Jersey. Um, here's all the information if you like to check them out. Charlie. And that would be, Char oh, okay, so you did get yeah. one. Okay. And then July 7th is the Toy Dome Collectible Show in Delaware. Then in September, oh, actually, hold on, let me make sure there's nothing in July that we're going to be set up at. No, nothing in J July, nothing. This one uh, is also in Jersey, but I don't know okay. how far so, away in Jersey. This is May 25th in Jersey. And the guy, uh, that was the guy where Jensen got the leather head and I got the uh, the passion victim from. Okay. He was telling me it was probably going to be about like, maybe 150 vendors, maybe a little bit more there. Okay. And then September 7th and 8th is going to be RetroCon, which we always call. <laughs>